That is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, we're already one month into the new year and uh, since Tuesday is today and it's Travel Tuesday, we thought we'd take a look at the current state of tourism in South Africa. And now uh, joining us for a chat about all things tourism and what's in store for you and I in 2019 as far as South African tourism is concerned is SA Tourism CEO, Mr. Sisan Chona. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, good, good. I feel, I feel like you should be our go-to person for everything Travel Tuesday. Always like consult through you before posting on the gram. Yeah. But, My mother does that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not do that yet. But, but tell us about the, the status of South African tourism right yep. now. What is it looking like? What's the industry doing? Sure. I think first of all is that the status of tourism is really elevating the country. Yeah. It is something that we are speaking of as a country, but also linking more importantly to our economic um, boom, as it were. Uh, where we're at at the moment is very competitive out there. We're doing okay for the first quarter of the year. Forecasts are so-so. Uh, there's a couple of key things we just need to remove out the way, but I think we're going to look good for 2019. Fantastic. That's good news. That's okay. promising. You've got an exciting campaign that I'm sure a lot of us have seen on social media and yeah. everywhere else. It's called the Welcome Campaign. Sure. Um, you know, if you've been to any of the major border posts, you would have seen it. Sure. What is this Welcome um, Campaign all about? Well, the president last year uh, challenged us at the SONA and says he wanted to see the double the numbers in tourism and in terms of job creation. Yeah. And uh, we said to ourselves, why do we need to do this different? And essentially saying, well, the more we become a welcoming country, mm. welcoming nation, the more it kind of benefits. You know, for the moment you step out of the airplane or the car, the border post, you must feel the warmth of the country. Mm. You must feel that you're stepping into a place that is actually inviting you and find your peace within. So we went through all of the border posts across the country. Yeah. So, well, imagine going to a border post and it's dark, yeah. there's no pen to write, and people are just not happy on the other side. Yeah. And we really yeah. went to the campaign to partner with Home Affairs mm. and also SARS to make those. I mean, uh, the biggest uh, border we have is a bite bridge, as an mm. example. And uh, I don't know if you've been there, but uh, it gets exciting. Quite chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> but it it's exciting. important, I think, that kind of hospitality that makes people want to come back every single time because mm. they yearn for that kind of friendliness, welcoming, uh, you know, tone when they do go and visit. Mm. Now, one of the, the major advancements that's been made in terms of uh, our South African tourism industry is the amendments or the changes that have been made to visa applications. Clue us in a little mm. bit on what these are and what they actually mean. Yeah, again, I mean, we, we, we said we can reach double those numbers, but we need certain things to be sorted out. Mm. And uh, definitely one of those is uh, the easier it is for people to travel into the country, the better it is for us. Exactly. Mm. And the key amongst that is actually traveling with children, right? Mm. Uh, essentially, uh, people coming from other countries needed unabridged certificates to travel with children. Mm. It's a mess, mm. right? And uh, what we understand to be unabridged in certain countries is not really, you know. And, uh, you know, if you want to certify a document or satisfy a document, <laughs> <laughs> you just go to the police station and get a stamp that's out. In other countries, you actually need to go to a barrister to do that. It's like, what, 500 pounds just to get that in. Wow. So, therefore, to remove mm. some of all those barriers there becomes important and also our ability to process visas and turnaround times in those countries that need visas. And I'm talking the likes of Nigeria, mm. uh, China, India, as yeah. an example, which mm. are the big ones that you've got to get right. I think so, we all get really excited thinking about our own travels and that we get caught up in just the fanfare of it and we forget what the implications or the results of it mean for sure. a country's economy. What is the importance of tourism for our economy as a country? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, tourism is one of those sectors that when it does well, it lifts all the boats. Mm. Everyone does well from that perspective. And it touches on every single sector that you can think of. Um, you know, it contributes 3% to our GDP. Mm. We want to increase that. So 110 billion rands every year comes into the economy via tourism. Wow. We really want to stake our claim on that side. And uh, the jobs that are created around there, you can imagine that whole ecosystem. Yeah. That's why I always say is that everyone, all 55 million of us, actually do tourism. Yeah. So I need everyone to be activated. <laughs> Come I on, need guys. Everyone to be it's in. in the way that we smile, the way Absolutely. that we say welcome. Well, we it's are all simplest part thing. of Just it. Helping someone to cross the street, someone who's lost. Yeah. You're actually going to get no immediate financial gain, mm. but at least you're playing the part of actually being a welcoming nation and a country that is able to uh, welcome people. Mm. Oh, fantastic stuff. It's really, really exciting. And now that we know that we are all, mm. we're all kind ambassadors. of tacitly ambassadors and employees of, yeah. you know, uh, Tourism yeah. South Africa, where, yeah. where do I send my RP file? Where, where, where do I get it? From? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You haven't got that right. <laughs> Absolutely. It's great to have you here. And some really promising stuff uh, yeah. that come, that's coming out of South African tourism. And I think such an incredible industry for all of us to support because we want to build our rainbow nation in the eyes of the world. And really, by doing that, uplift the continent 
as well. So many thanks to CEO of SA Tourism, Dr. Sisanjana. Thank you very much, sir. Cool. Thank you.